Hey everybody, it is Jeremy J. at you with another video and a kitty named Dido who is also spectating with us. Thought I'd do this video sitting down and it's one of my last days of time off of work to do a video during the day so I'm doing that. The light's a little better during the day. Hey kitty, she's coming to say hello. Um, hi, hi Dido, she's saying hello, and, and guess what, this is my seventh video, well eight, eighth video in a row, but my seventh video in seven days, and I'm doing this video <laughs> to talk a little bit about what, what, how have I gotten here? How have I gotten here? Like how, how has Jeremy J gotten to this point where he's sitting here in this chair in his Draper condo doing twin flame videos? So it's a little bit of a history lesson about me and I'm hoping that this history lesson helps give you some context into the perspectives I bring and I'm going to be pretty transparent with my history. And let's let's roll with it. All right. So I was born in 1977. And I'm getting close. Well, age 40 is going to hit me next year. So that'll be exciting. Can't wait. I was raised in Michigan. And one of the first memories I have was almost drowning when I was like four years old. I remember being yanked out of a pool by someone. Uh, my second memory is when I was in kindergarten and my father brought this compact computer to my class. It was like a computer this, uh, this big and it had like a screen on it and a little keyboard that popped out and he showed me a game of a guy going around eating floppy disks. I died don't. She's very talkative. And ever since then, I've been very intrigued by technology and what it can do, which is one of the reasons I think YouTube is so amazing. YouTube is a technology that allows me to sit here in front of my, in front of my webcam and do a video for all of you. And I think that's incredible. All around the world, I can talk to all of you and even do a live stream. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. And I grew up as a, a young boy as in the Mormon Latter-day Saint Church. And that is where I have my roots as far as like beliefs that were created for me is in that church. And I would say even to this day, there's a lot of that church that still, that still sits with me, that is still a, a part of who I am. Well, as I get older and through high school and playing a lot of basketball, I eventually moved out here to Utah at the age of 18 and lived here for a year and went on a Mormon mission to Ireland for two years from age 19 to 21. And that was my first experience away from home. Got incredibly homesick on that adventure there for two years. For about the first year, I was homesick, and I never thought in a million years that that would occur to me, um, but it did. And after that, I came back to Utah, and I got married a year and a half after that to uh, my ex-wife, who I was married to for 14 years. And uh, throughout those 14 years, I experienced a lot of changes. Two wonderful kids were born. A lot of great memories, etc. Uh, but during that time, I started to shift and transition and to expand upon my beliefs by asking a lot of questions about life and reality. And as I did that, I found very thoughtful, thought provoking people who had things to say about reality and even the LDS church that I'd never thought of. And so I took all that, those perspectives and what I thought, and I realized there's more to life than just the cut and dry picture I'd been taught. 
and I'm still on the quest of discovering what life and reality is really about. Um, toward the end of my marriage, as I really began to shift, um, that's where I experienced the, the connection with the one that has spurred these videos. And through that experience, I'm doing these videos today. She was a catalyst for me to really examine my life and where everything was going, to really like ask myself, was I going to be happy in 15 years? And as I did that, and I did that on my own, I realized, no, I, I wouldn't be if I stayed in my current circumstance. And I left out on my own, still a single father to my two wonderful daughters, still very much working together as a co-parent uh, with my ex-spouse. And I would say that I am have had some major challenges in the last few years being on my own, especially this year. Major challenges, but I'm very happy with that choice. There's definitely pros and cons to that choice, but I'm very happy with it. And I'm excited to where my life has taken me to today. I've gone out a lot, I've experienced a lot, made some good choices, made some poor choices, some, some <laughs> just not smart decisions, but I think that's how we learn is we make a poor choice and we get burned by it. And then we say, oh, well, okay, I'm not doing that again. That was, that was detrimental. And so here I sit doing this video now. <laughs> I see kitty paws and they're gone. Here I sit doing this video and my channel came into existence with these twin flame videos by accident. I remember, um, Sometime in the summer, I think, of this year, 2016. And I, I think I like made all my internet stuff private. I was just detaching. And then a few days late passed and I said, no, let's keep doing videos. I mean, I'd been doing YouTube videos and my website since 2009. And, I, and so I turned it all back on. But what I didn't realize is I had some private videos on YouTube that were now made public by this button that made everything public. I didn't select which videos to make public. I just said, bring it all back. And as I did that, I started to get a bunch of comments on this Twin Flames video I did in my basement. I will link to it here in this video. And it's gotten a lot of views and comments. And I said, holy shit, I didn't expect this. This random video I did just blabbering out my thoughts at the time. I mean, I made that video in August of 2014, I think. I had no idea that that video would gain so much attention. And that's so fascinating to me that, that a little bit of an accident, or you may not even call it an accident, a guide being guided, however you want to word it, has put me where I am today now being a teacher to those in twin flame situations and sort of a life coach as well. And I love it. I love that that's how it happened. Like it was sort of an accidental occurrence that put me on the path I am now. And now I'm releasing a video every day. And as I'm doing this, I'm finding I'm having more and more to say about this twin flame situation and what's going on and the profound impact it had on my life. It revealed to me all my weaknesses and flaws, my insecurities, my neediness. And then as I've gone on the journey, disconnected from that person, I've realized it's okay to have flaws and insecurities. It's okay to be a little needy. Like we are here on this earth and we need each other. We need to uplift and help each other. And so now I'm coming back full circle and saying, you know what? We all need to be a little needy as we talk to and rely on each other. And then at the same time, we all need to be self-reliant at the same time and be able to strengthen ourselves. And so these are some of the things I've learned since I've been out on my own. I'm incredibly grateful for the experiences I've had in life, for being married, for two wonderful kids, for meeting the twin flame, for all the things she's taught me and the learning that's taken place on my own. That learning couldn't have taken place any other way except for me to face it on my own, I believe. 
And he, so here I sit now with kitties and a Christmas tree speaking to all of you, sharing my perspective, my story. And I'm just one guy with my own life experience, sharing things that have happened to me. I would definitely encourage you to seek out as many perspectives as you can with those who resonate with you and try to learn as much as you can. Grow to be the best version of yourself that you can. So this is me, Jeremy J, giving you a brief history of my life and how I got here. And in the next video, I'll talk more about the experience that happened to me and how I was able to disconnect or remove my feelings from the one that so profoundly impacted me. It was hard, it took time, but we'll save that for the next video. So look forward to that. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.